Mm. What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. A requested video how to buy the perfect pineapple. Stay tuned, you're gonna love this one, man. I'm gonna drop some serious tips on you guys. Got two pineapples here, one very green, one very yellow or ripe in color. Here's the thing, pineapples do not ripe further after they've been harvested or picked. So the color, while not the only way to tell the difference between a sweet and an unripe or tart pineapple, it does play a part of things. So you're looking for a nice yellow golden looking pineapple like the one in my hand here. This green, overly green one, yeah, probably tart. Leave that one right in the store there. Smell, I know you're in the grocery store and Linda watching you. Linda, leave me alone now that we smell the thing. Gosh, we are from the Caribbean, we like to smell our fruits, Linda. Anyhow, it, it must have that fragrance, a nice pineapple smell. I know we're living in COVID times, we're not supposed to touch and smell and all kind of thing like that, but sneak one in there, man. Don't tell them Uncle Chris say so, eh? You want that lovely pineapple scent just elevating from the things there. Just, just coming out. Yeah. Ooh, same thing when you buy a mango and banana and everything else, you know? Mm hmm We talked about the color, we, we talk about the scent. The other thing you gotta pay attention to is nice and firm with a little bit of sponginess, a little bit of give to it. Now, an overly green one will be hard. This one will have a bit of a softness. Ooh, a tight tongue today, boy. Softness to it, ladies and gentlemen. But firm at the same time, no discoloration. Now, here's another tip. If you're in a situation where they all look like this, nice and yellow, we got all the color, we've it got a nice texture, it's got that nice smell, but you really want to step up the game to even be more sweet, the weight, the more heavy it is at this point, means it's more juicy. All right? Juicy! All right, juicy. Another little tip. Notice how easy? Just pull. Just pull. Just pull. The more ripe it is, the sort of leaves on the top will come out very easily. If you're like me, you bought two of them. You know, I had to buy one to show you guys the difference. One of them really green, one of them not so green. This tip is compliments of our brothers and sisters from Hawaii. Yeah, different island, or same island vibe. Cut off the top of it. Grab yourself a plate. Put it upside down on the plate and into the fridge. According to legend in Hawaii, the volcano god say by slicing that off. Now, don't, there's no volcano god thing in here. I just kind of tossing that in there. Don't worry about that part. But anyhow, you cut off the top as I just did there. Turn it over onto a plate in the fridge for two or three days. And that entire thing will be transformed into something a bit more sweet. So there you go. Uncle Chris dropped some knowledge and all there. The color, the scent, the weight, the sort of slight little give to it, a nice little softness to it, but yet it's firm. No discoloration, no kind of fungus on the bottom and all kind of thing like that. No, we don't want those. We don't want those in our life at all. But now, let's take a look at how to break it down so you can enjoy it at home. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure. Vibe this part now. You're gonna love it, man.